Hi, I'm Abby Brown. I'm the director and founder of the Spasmodic Turcalis Recovery Clinic in Warren Taos, New Mexico. And we're here today to give you a short massage demo showing you how you can do this massage work at home for free. Most people uh, can't afford to hire a massage therapist every day. You really need about 10 minutes a day. So anyone can do this for you. A family member or a friend or a 12 year old could do this for you. It's so easy and it doesn't have to be perfect. So our massage therapist, Michelle, has studied under Reese Myra Murphy, who wrote the book, Torticollis Massage. And her website is www.torticollismassage.com. And there you'll find her book and a copy of her 18 minute DVD. So if you enroll in our in-house program or our long distance program, you'll get a copy of that DVD as part of your coursework. So um, to do this massage, you can use a table a massage table, which most people aren't going to have, or a portable massage chair, or that you can get on Amazon, or just a dining room chair is fine. So here at the clinic, we teach a very targeted exercise program that's designed to reprogram your body back to normal. As you know, there's no cure for torticollis, but you can get rid of the symptoms. I've been in recovery since 19. 84 and uh, that was a long time ago so uh, I just want to encourage you this is a terrible affliction we want to help you and you don't have to live like this you can get rid of these symptoms so we combine that exercise program with postural work um, the self-help tools habit patterning and um, we talk about stress and ways of handling that for you know how what a big part stress plays in torticollis. And we also teach you pampering tricks. You know, it's important um, when you're suffering a lot, it's so important to be good to yourself. It's not selfish. You need to take time for you to be good to yourself. Okay, so some people are not going to have a, a family member or a friend who can help them. And you can do self-massage. It's not as, as good as, as um, the human touch, but it's way better than nothing. So I'm going to show you a couple of tools here that you can use. The first one is called a Shiatsu Massage Tool, and you can buy these at Amazon.com, you know, like me. And um, let's see here, when I turn it on, you see the balls going around and around. So you start this behind your head, in a, sitting in a chair, and run it from the base of the skull all the way down the neck and down the back. And of course, the more you lean into it, the deeper the massage is going to be. So you could do this a couple of times a day, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and uh, turn it off. And this is the other tool. This is called an AccuBall massage tool. It's very inexpensive. And that's spelled A-C-C-U-B-A-L-L. -L. And you'll find this at Amazon. And this does the back of the neck and the top of the shoulders. Okay, so you know, you would just like that. It's wonderful. And then um, you can actually find, if you go to YouTube and type in AccuBall Massager, you can find some videos that tell how to use this. So this just squeezes the top of the shoulders and gives you just a nice massage there. Okay, so um, you will need you will need an oil of some kind. Here at the clinic, we use coconut oil. Uh, you can also use olive oil, just something that stays slippery on the skin and doesn't soak in. Or you can go to the health food store and get uh, massage oil there. Um, but uh, coconut oil and olive oil works just fine. Um, so I wanted to thank you for joining us today and I hope you'll visit our website that's www.stclinic.com so when you get to our website please look at our free tips uh, you'll see a button on the home page for that 
And honestly, those tips have more information than I had when I recovered. And we offer that to you for free. And that will give you some idea of whether or not this might be the right treatment option for you. Also look at our client testimonial pages where you'll find wonderful before and after photos of many of the clients who come into recovery using our program. So thanks again for joining us and here's Michelle. Hi, my name is Michelle Roque and I'm a licensed massage therapist and today I'm going to show you a couple techniques to use on a client with or call us or a friend or call so first, you want to make sure that your face cradle is tilted downwards so that the muscles can elongate here along the spine of the, in, on the side of the neck. So next, you can take your palms of your hands and press here towards the feet. Again, you want to make sure that you're working towards the middle, kind of like where a bra line would sit, the shoulders, and then the base of the skull. So I'm just using knuckles to kind of break up a lot of this muscular congestion that can happen with torticollis clients. And again, pushing towards, down towards the feet. Next, taking fingertips up here at the base of the skull and just wanting to promote and suggest stretching these muscles and lengthening these muscles. also get knuckles in here as well. It's important to let the client guide you. Some people like a lot of pressure. Some people are a little bit sensitive to a lot of pressure. And so it's always important to ask what's comfortable for them. So now we're going to show you a nice technique that you can use with the thumb, your knuckles, or a forearm. So uh, first with the thumb here, start at the base of the shoulder, following the line all the way up into the base of the skull. And again, just promoting elongating and lengthening the neck muscles. And I'm just kind of holding here and pressing out towards the top of the head. One more time. Find the shoulder joint. Really glide all the way into the base of the skull. And press and hold. Same thing can be done with the knuckles, so you can make a fist. and hold at the base of the skull. One more time. Great. Can also be done with the forearm here. And you'll know when to stop because you'll feel this little nub, it's called an occiput, and you'll feel it and then you'll stop right there. 
happens if you were to go any further you'll feel how it kind of pops because it's like a little a little bump so you're just going right to the edge of it and holding all right So we're going to show you a little bit of techniques with hot rocks. So these hot rocks are smooth river, river stone, the river rocks. You can find these online, but sometimes you can go to a local nursery and um, sometimes for landscaping they can give these away for free or they're not very expensive at all. Um, what we've done here is we've heated these up in a crock pot. So very simple. Again, do doesn't have to be professional equipment. You can warm them up in a crock pot and um, <laughs> you can warm these up in a crock pot and you want to make sure that the temperature is about 110 degrees um, but I will warn you uh, some clients are more temperature sensitive than others so again just be very careful um, and always again communicate with, with the client so what I like to do is just pick them up they're nice and warm shouldn't be too hot to touch they I also keep a bucket of cold water to dunk them into if in case they are too hot. So, and you just bring them here. And again, right down the back, not on the bone, but make sure you're right in between the shoulder blades and the spine right on the muscle. All And as you go, you'll see that the heat starts to be absorbed by the body. And so once they get to like a cooler temperature, they're probably ready to be done. And again, you can go across the shoulders here and then scoop again right into the base of the skull so that the heat penetrates right here. And these are pretty cool now. so. Again, picking up rocks. You can dunk them in cold water if you need to, cool them off just a little bit. Nice and slow along the spine. Across the shoulders. And then I scoop up into the base of the skull. And again, you can press and hold right here, making sure that heat really penetrates in this area. All right, so now we have our client flipped over in a supine positioning. And so we're going to, again, make our fists. And what I like to do is start here at the neck and press down away towards the body. We also wanna make sure that we are in the back of the body. We never wanna to come too far forward here. So make sure again, it's in the back of the neck, back of the body. Just press. And you can do them together. You can do one side and then the other side. Again, pressing down towards the feet. All right, and then next we're going to do a head stretch here. So I will just support the head here. You want to find the shoulder joint. Right here, press down towards the back. Support the head and stretch. Again, using the palm and palm and fingertips here, find the shoulder joint and just press. Nice little stretch here. And that can be done to both sides. And 
Another thing I like to do is use both hands. Find that shoulder joint again. Press. You can alternate one or the other. Or both. All right, so next we're gonna use a king size pillowcase that I folded three times in two eight. And I'm gonna ask my client here to lift his head and place it here underneath. Go ahead and back down. So you want to go ahead and fold it in half. Then we twist, make a nice knot tension twist here and it's important to lift the head and then we're going to pull it back giving neck muscles a nice stretch so again lifting up first and then pulling and back down all right so here is our portable massage chair that you can just on Amazon. If you don't have one of these, you can also do this on a regular chair or regular dining chair at home. So again, focusing on the back, shoulders and neck, you want to make sure that your face cradle is a little bit declined or inclined to give nice um, stretch to the neck. So I like to use the palms of my hands. You can also use fists. Again, back, shoulders. And right in here, we're gonna do this, what's called a skull rock. Getting the palms of my hands, again, putting them right there at the base of the skull. And just giving it a nice side to side stretch, alternating from one palm to the other. the client now again getting fists and we're just going to work in here again pressing down towards the feet you can do both or alternating and just like we did on the massage table Again, find that shoulder joint. Give a nice stretch. We're really getting these muscles to elongate and stretch. And make sure you do both sides. And then this is something that a friend or family can do, but you as a client can also do this. You can just lean over in a chair, make this and do a little bit of a scrub. So we do have muscles on the top of our heads or on our heads that need attention. And so this nice little scrub here will do just that. All right, so again, I'm using the heel of my palm and Again, not on the bone, right in between the spine and the shoulder blades, muscles. And then from here, using the palms again, lining the base of the skull, and just doing a gentle skull rock back and forth, elongating the muscles. Then using fists or knuckles, getting in here. Again, very simply, can be done in a chair, a massage chair or a table, encouraging these muscles to lengthen. All 
All right, I hope these techniques have really helped you and proved to be useful to you. And we hope to see you here at the clinic and have a wonderful day and God bless.